Hi everyone, this is Joseph with the Flying Pigeon LA Bike Shop, and I made this little video to tell the story of why the shop hasn't gone to the San Gabriel Valley in a while on our monthly dim get some dim sum rides. I made this video to show why the tap card system in particular is inconvenient for big groups and families, and of course group rides like the dim sum ride. So um, what I did is I went down to the station, I took a $20 bill out and did the only quick and cheap option for buying a ticket. I bought a, I paid $1 for a tap card and $1.50 for a one-way fare on that tap card for a total of $2.50 and I'll stick a $20 bill in here. And my $20 bill is then broken down into a pile of $1 coins and I have to pick them up. And if I have a group of 10, 15, 20 people with me, I have to pick all those coins up and feed them back into the ticket machine again and again. Um, on the return trip, we have to load all the tap cards again, one at a time as well. And this isn't practical with a big group, and it isn't practical with a large family, and it certainly isn't practical with the dim sum ride with the bikes and the people and everything. Uh, we think the tap needs to be fixed. We miss trips to the San Gabriel Valley uh, dim sum restaurants. And, you know, more particularly, this whole process used to take us the amount of time it took to buy one fare. We could buy 10 fares or 15 fares. Um, it was a very easy process, very intuitive. You get a ticket going one way, a ticket going the other. Uh, right now we're paying an extra $1 surcharge because most of the people coming on our rides are neophytes, you know, they're newbies to the system. Oh, here's the tap system, so just tap and go, uh, which is fine if you're a single person and you've got an extra buck to spare. But if you're like the folks coming on our ride, that's actually an extra step that most of them have to do, and then the tap card just kind of, you know, just a buck that kind of gets wasted that day. It's a, an extra expensive ticket. So there you go. We think the tap card system should be repaired. Um, I hope you guys will uh, join us in somehow asking the MTA to get on this, make it possible so that I can buy 10 tap cards at once and load value onto 10 consecutive cards again, for example, as I tap them one after another against the kiosk. It would definitely make it easier if one tap card could do like a big group purchase. I don't know how that's going to work personally, but it ought to be done. So thanks for watching, and if anybody at Metro sees this, you know, get her done, guys. Thanks a bunch. Take care.